Thank you so much. Meanwhile, Grace King continuing our team coverage. Grace, you spoke with legal experts about what's really at stake here. Right. They said that Terrence Bradley at no point answered the question of when that Willis Wade, Wade relationship began. And that speaks to that nothing changed legally as far as what those experts are saying. So here's why. Bradley says he didn't recall when or how he first learned of that Willis Wade relationship. And he testified that he only had one conversation with Wade about it. He doesn't know when or why that happened. He also said those conversations he had with defense attorney Ashley Merchant were based on speculation, not fact. That's the first takeaway. It's like, wow, like, you know, this guy's all over the place. Is he telling the truth? Is he not telling the truth? But but the ultimate takeaway that I have is, you know, how much does it move the, the needle? Former DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James says the case for disqualification depends on whether D.A. Willis financially benefited from hiring special prosecutor Nathan Wade. That's, of course, something they firmly denied. And James doesn't think any of the testimony from today contradicts that. He wasn't there to advance a point for the state. He was there to advance a point for the defense. And the lack of credibility doesn't necessarily advance a point. It was entertaining. It was, it was you know, definitely controversial and has some issues of credibility, but I don't really know what else it did. And coming up at six, we'll hear much more of that testimony and how it plays to that question of credibility. All right, Grace, thank you so much for breaking that down for us. Now, if you at home missed any of today's hearing, you can catch it on demand on the 11 Alive Plus streaming app. It's right on the front page. Just download the app for free on your Roku, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV device.